Initiative 186 would put additional requirements on anyone applying for a hard rock mining permit. It would require the Montana Department of Environmental Quality to deny a mine permit unless the applicant shows clear and convincing evidence their plan will prevent water pollution without the need for permanent treatment of acid mine drainage or other contaminants. The campaign for I-186 has been led by conservation groups like Montana Trout Unlimited. They say it's an important step to protect Montana's water quality. Clean water is important to aquatic and riparian and wildlife as well as human life, public health, agriculture, ranching, outdoor recreation industry, and just our quality of life. I-186 supporters point to cases like the Zortman Landusky mine, where the state has had to pay millions after the costs of water treatment exceeded the reclamation bonds the company set aside. It poses an ongoing forever risk to clean water and ongoing expenses to um, the public, the state, federal government, and so I-186 is a simple legal solution to that. But the opponents of I-186 say the state has already tightened its regulations to prevent cases like that from happening again. So we think the people of Montana are being asked to vote for something that's being sold as, uh, for clean water, and it really isn't anything about clean water. Opponents say the initiative will open all metal mines up to lawsuits that could delay or block their operations. They point to three specific mine proposals, the Black Butte Copper Mine in Marr County and the Rock Creek and Montanor Mines in northwestern Montana that could be affected. These mines will never be permitted if they have an additional hurdle to pass, an additional unclear language. Opponents questioned whether any mine owner would be able to meet the higher evidence requirements in I-186. We're either going to have mining and allow it under the most stringent mining requirements in the world, or we're not, and that's what's at stake with I-186. Supporters of I-186 say they understand the value of mining and that this is only a way to ensure mines don't leave permanent costs behind. This is not an attempt at gotcha lawmaking. This is simply about protecting clean water and requiring that our hard rock mining be more responsible. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Absentee ballots will be mailed to voters in Montana starting this Friday.